right, we are on day nine of the third tray. I'm just going to uh, get rid of these, not get rid of them, but put these worms from the lid on back into the pile. This is, um, like I said, day nine, tray three. The whole system from when I started this is 128 days and lots of feedings. The uh, second bin went about a little over 60 days, or second tray. Now you'll notice that the watermelon in this bin, um, I was just kind of doing an experiment, but I probably should have counted it as a uh, feeding. Put watermelon in the bin um, after seeing some YouTube videos from DD Worms and some others and just kind of want to peek underneath here and we'll see that the worms absolutely love this stuff. They are just an absolute worm ball right there. They just go right to it and every single one of these Watermelon is probably going to look the exact same way. I mean, that is just Worm City. Some more worms under there. Another one. They just dig through the flesh. It's absolutely incredible. And then just worm ball after worm ball. And I think I have one more in here. Here we go. Yeah. They love it. So I'm just going to set these aside. They're going to, I think I'm going to just keep them on top, but do my normal feeding area. And I am just going to kind of dig around and see how the rest of the feeding went. We've got some of the banana peels that we used in the last one. But it seems like other than that, this is just castings and maybe some stems from um, carrots, carrot plants. But yeah, here's that worm ball still, still going right there. So overall, I'm really impressed with this. This was kind of a experimental tray for me where I, it was mostly cardboard and newspaper with just a handful or two of um, castings from the tray below it of the three trays I hear I have here, and um, just to kind of inoculate it, and the the worms came right up. So they are definitely inhabiting this bin, and I knew that the worms travel up and down freely because I still find some in the lower bin when I go under there and look at it and kind of aerate the um, castings that are under there. And um, they are mostly castings. I'm gonna harvest it soon. Probably when I do the next bin on top or tray on top, I'll, um, I may uh, take that first tray underneath and, and harvest the castings. But let's just look a little bit more around here and then I will set up for the feeding, which I don't know to, if I call this its second feeding or third feeding or second and a half feeding because this watermelon definitely was a feeding. I didn't really, when I was doing it, I really didn't think of it as a feeding, just just kind of something I wanted to do. Here's the um, grape stems, all the grapes were on from the last feeding. So let's put this here, let's get these watermelon. And I'm just gonna leave them on top, like I said. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna bury them. This next feeding may be a little bit less. And I have more watermelon, I've got fr frozen, so I've gotta decide how how often I wanna give that every time or, or as a special treat. But man, do they love it. And this here is store-bought watermelon. I've got watermelon growing in my garden that I will um, I'll use too. A little bit smaller, they're sugar baby watermelons. But make my normal trench here in the middle. 
This time I'm gonna put some, uh, these tubes right in. Yeah, we'll just go with that one too. And now I'm gonna put some newspaper. Just helped kind of absorb some of the um, liquid that comes out of this food that I put in there. And for the food, I got a lot of um, banana, chopped up banana peels, and then the normal greens from our juicings, apple, core. So we'll just throw this in there. Now, I know the peels will take a couple, three feedings to totally disappear. They'll let the flesh right off them. But the apple cores, they seem to go to pretty quickly. And with that watermelon being in there, I'm not, gonna, not sure I'm gonna put a huge amount. Still, I've noticed that they take a lot of food compared to how it was feeding at the beginning. I don't know if their population has grown or I'm just kind of getting used to feeding them more without being afraid of, of that. Certainly they've gotten into a routine. This is kind of frozen solid here. Try not to make too much of a mess. Whew. Probably should have let it thaw out longer. Down in here, I've got some strawberries I'm trying to get to. There we go. Strawberry, looks like mango. Yeah, here's some more mango. Go for another strawberry. Some carrot peels. That looks about like it's enough. I'll do another mango peel. I uh, will throw in a banana peel for good measure. All right, between that and the watermelon, we should be in good shape here. Add some coffee grounds, and I should say coffee grounds and tea after. This is not fresh coffee grounds. This is, this is after we drink the coffee. And then we'll do the normal eggshells, and this may look a little bit darker than typical, and that's just because I use the same, um, same thing I use to use the, the coffee beans to grind them. Um, I'll, I'll grind the eggshells before I clean it, and then of course clean it afterwards for more coffee beans, but these eggshells aren't quite as pristine white. So, all right, so now we'll just bury this up. I'll replace the uh, watermelon. While I'm doing that, if you wanna give the video a like, I'd appreciate it if you like what you saw. It's always helps out me, helps out the channel. So, I've got kind of a hill. I'm always impressed with the hill as it goes down each day, and I check on these almost every day. Just lift the, the lid on up, I don't, um, I don't dig down or anything like that, but it always is amazing to me how low the hill gets. Just when I think I'm like absolutely filling these things up. Um, <laughs> the worms eat like crazy and, and it looks like I haven't put that much in. So I'm just gonna bury these watermelon, a couple here, a couple on this side. Maybe that'll help spread out the uh, the worms. Oh, and I forgot to put the banana peels in, so I'll just kind of dig them in here. Try and bury it a little bit. So there we go. There is the second feeding of the third tray of the Vermi Hut. And that will about do it. Like I said, I appreciate a like if you so desire. And I hope everybody has a great day. Take care.